How are you doing Cali Crowd? It's been a while since I've done one of these progress diary vlogs so today I'm going to be walking through exactly what I'm doing to try and nail the handstand skill. For those of you new to the channel, Cali to the Crowd is primarily built to show what the self-taught journey of learning different calisthenic skills is like in real time, primarily by learning how to build strength by using our own body weight. So far, what this has looked like is successfully learning how to perform and hold an L-sit. I'm almost there with five consecutive bar muscle-ups, but where the real pain has been so far with this journey is in learning the handstand. Today, I'm gonna to show where I am with the handstand. So seeing what I've learned after four months of battling away at this, I'll briefly touch on what handstand training looks for me right now. And then finally, I'm gonna walk through a big change that I've managed to implement that has actually already started to propel me closer towards my handstand goal. I'm actually really excited to this change in my handstand training, and I'm really keen to see what you guys think as well. But quickly, if you would like to be part of the Cali to the Crowd family and part of the motivating and helpful community that we're looking to build here, then be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell as well so that you never miss out on a Cali to the Crowd video. Jumping straight into it, let's take a look at where my handstand progress is right now. As you can see, I can balance a handstand relatively easily for a short while, even if my back is arched. This is a far stretch away from where I was even a month ago. A lot of this has come from the techniques I've mentioned in previous videos in the handstand progress diaries. So things like flooring, things like chest to walls, things like the frog stand. What I've learned about the handstand though that is different from the skills that I've learned in the past is that with the L-sit or muscle up, I always felt like I was getting stronger with each training session. Yeah, sometimes it felt like I hadn't moved into a new progression in a very long time, but I always knew that once I could hold one progression, I could feel very confident about producing that same progression the next time I trained. Handstands though, at least in the way that I've experienced it, just don't roll like that. I can have an amazing session where I kick into a handstand five times, maybe even hold a slightly straight body line, balance for 10 seconds and come down. And I can have a full session like that. And then the very next day I could come in and not even be able to kick up once without the help of a wall. Needless to say, this is extremely frustrating, but what I've noticed is that while some days training in the handstand absolutely sucks and others you catch the perfect balance point and it feels like you should be called up to the national gymnastics team, by taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture, what I've observed is that my overall average handstanding is improving. The plan is that one day this average will equal what I deem to be a decent handstand and I can mark this skill off as complete. So what does handstand practice look like for me right now? Even when I somehow manage to hold a handstand, I can point to so many things that is wrong with it. But right now my focus is just on being able to find some sort of balance. I'm doing everything in my power to get to a point where I can comfortably spend time balancing on my hands with and without war support. So clawing and wall walks are still a huge part of my training right now. Once I'm confident with balance, then I'll shift my focus more towards my immobile shoulders, the aggressive arch in my spine, and my hips that seem to just live in permanent anterior tilt. This isn't to say that I'm not going to be looking at these things from time to time right now and working and trying to fix them, but I only have so much time in the day and balance is what I've prioritized for right now. I'll do a video that deep dives into exactly how I train for the handstand, but right now I'm really excited to talk to you about a key change I've made to my handstand goal and how I train towards it that I hope will reap some really huge rewards. Okay, so when I set this challenge for myself, I said this. The goal here is to hold a handstand for a minimum of 10 seconds. That is to say, I go from standing to kicking up into a handstand with no support, hold a straight body line for 10 seconds, and then return to a standing position. Now, the key change I've made to this is that the kick up into the handstand, so kicking up into a handstand is no longer going to be my primary entry into the handstand. We've always spoken on this channel about building strong foundations. So moving well and moving strong as the main focus and then the awesome skills will come as a product of that. Well, about a week ago, while I was practicing the frog stand, a skill that in and of itself, I rave about as a must for beginner calisthenics athletes, I actually found that I could quite easily press out from there into a bastardized back to wall handstand. 
all that time doing advanced frog stand holds, I hadn't even realized that this was in my locker. This got me thinking about the kick up entry into a handstand and aside from it being an efficient way on how to practice balance, I've decided to pivot and focus on getting into the handstand from the frog stand as my primary goal. Now don't get me wrong, if tomorrow I somehow managed to kick up into a perfect handstand, I wouldn't cry about it. But when thinking about some of the skills I really wanna learn in the future, so the handstand push-up, the 90 degree handstand push-up, the planche, the frog stand to handstand just seems to make more sense as a progression. Honestly, from the brief time I've been training it, it doesn't feel like the fastest way to learn how to handstand, but it sure damn feels like the strongest way, which definitely fits with the ethos of Cali to the crowd. But I wanna know what you guys think. I know a lot of you are learning how to handstand and really going through that pain yourselves. So what do you think of this? What do you think of this change of strategy to my handstand goal? Let me know in the comment section below. And guys, I will see you in the next one.